The block editor in AutoCAD 2010 has been updated to include powerful geometric and dimensional constraint tools. Use grips to easily manipulate geometry within block references while ensuring that the geometry maintains the relationships defined by the block. Geometric constraint tools in the block editor enable you to define geometric relationships among objects within a block definition. For example, constrain the center of a circle to a line, or make the radius of one circle equal to the radius of another circle. Add dimensional parameter constraints to block geometry with the ability to specify how many, if any, grips are accessible for the block reference. The new test block functionality in the block editor enables you to test your block definitions in a separate window without having to save the definition and exit the block editor. In this example, I can use grips on this block reference to modify the length of the arms and the angle between them. As I change the angle, the circles and polygon maintain their orientation in relation to the arm. I can even slide this circle along the parallel line at the center of the arm, regardless of the arm's angle. And I can adjust the size of the polygon by modifying the radius of the circumscribed circle. Now in this particular case, some of the geometry is for construction purposes to ensure proper parametric behavior, but it really shouldn't be displayed in the drawing. In the block editor, you can convert ordinary block geometry to construction geometry. For example, I want the polygon and these two smaller circles to display in the block reference but I don't want to display the circle that drives the size of the polygon or the lines that maintain the position of the circles within the arm. Now, when I test the block, I can get the same great behavior without the extra geometry.